you don't see very often. Um, and something you can do with a with a, uh, a pillar drill or a drill press, uh, even just a bench one, is that you, you move the normal table or you remove it, uh, swing the arm out the way, and you can actually um, solidly fix an item to the to the foot bed. Uh, that's what I call it anyway, the foot bed. Um, and because I'm doing this uh, X2 uh, conversion, I require uh, a um, hole to be drilled um, at the bottom here and to be threaded just to give it that extra um, stability. So, uh, I mean, look, you can drill it by hand. It's just I have the pillar drill, drill press, and um, this is the, should we say, technical method to do it. So here we go. Uh, we're drilling cast iron. Okay, so this is a 5mm uh, drill. Uh, so we set it on a slow speed um, and you don't have any lubricant at all with cast iron. And it's really as easy as that. Although cast iron is very tough and sturdy and will take a lot of physical load, it actually cuts like butter. Just wanted to show you this. This is actual speed of when running, cutting a pocket into aluminium. time and she'll do it very very nicely So there's the first part done. So everything now gets connected to this plate. 
so on here now there's going to be a uh, 50 by 25mm uh, thick block of, uh, of aluminium now being put on there and that's going to be the uh, the bearing block so that's, that's next together and it's all locked up now um, all tightened up and you can see it moves quite freely uh, and I've actually increased the travel of the Y to 110 millimeters which is um, uh, just a shade under four and a half inches so we've managed to do quite a bit of good here to increase the envelope of the the, um, the Miller machine so I also plan on increasing the uh, envelope envelope of the um, x-axis as well and the Z so you can see it I, I put some grease on the on the ways there and you know, it's really a two-finger job and this is all adjusted up this is all tightened up this is tightened up in here and you can see it all moves nice and freely which means it's all square and accurate I'll just turn this over you'll be able to see the, the other side there there we go so you can see it there this area here I just took out, uh, I machined out, I'll put some footage in about that. Um, what I wanted to achieve here was I wanted the, the screw to come down within, uh, well a very small distance, you can see that, um, and not rely on putting a washer or welding something on the back end of that to stop this coming off. What I've done in actual fact is I have allowed and I've worked at the tolerances or clearances now the foot of the the, the or the tower then 
that bolts onto here, there is a, a one eighth of an inch gap here. So if I wind him back, and obviously the um, the limit switches will come into play just as this reaches this point. Uh, also, I'll be running on soft limits. So even if this comes up, and at this point, this now would be touching uh, this this foot or the base of the pillar. Uh, you can see that there's no danger of the um, you know the ball race uh, coming anywhere near the end. Now. I've taken this out with um, with my mill over there, but you can actually file cast up cast iron. It's you <clears throat> you can actually file cast iron. It's um, if you've got a good file, it cuts like butter, and you really just need to take out a little area here. I've machined the whole of this out. Uh, I've actually taken it back about a quarter of an inch um, because I had a very very rough casting. It was, if you can see this, it was like this. Very, very rough cast in here. Um, and plus I wanted to achieve this, this effect. So there we go, that is um, pretty well done. Now what I have to do is the um, motor assembly uh, here. Oh, there's one point I want to bring up here. Hang on, I'll just take the camera. There's one point I want to, to mention. I will be using, with my kit, zero backlash uh, couplings. They're, they're semi-flexible. They do, they do flex, like this. But they are not love joys with a, a, a rubber connection. We're building a very accurate a uh, piece of equipment here. You don't put rubber love joys um, on the end of these these screw. You, you know, the end of the ball screws. You, you're after accuracy. Um, so you want a, a semi-solid fixture to the end of your your stepper motor. That's what I recommend. That's what I should be putting in. Uh, my kits, um, if you require something different, if you, if you want love joys, that can be arranged as well. But I really prefer these. Uh, they're much more accurate, as you can see. They're solid this direction, they, but they will flex, as you can see. Okay, so these are zero backlash flexible couplings. And uh, in, in actual fact, these are a little bit more expensive than love joys. Um, so I'm, I'm not building cheap here. I'm building what works and what works well. Okay, let's get on. Hi. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video so far. Um, it's beginning to be a little bit of a marathon. Um, converting this whole machine but um, I'm glad to see that a lot of you out there are enjoying this um, hopefully as much as I am uh, so we've, we've got the X axes all up as far as the, um, the the motor assembly all done that's all working uh, the I'll say that again three two one so we have the Y axis all done, uh, all the way up to the motor housing assembly. And um, we are quite a, a long way into the X axis to get that to the same level. But, um, you know, I, I have to uh, draw the line somewhere and say, well, there's enough uh, information to make another uh, video so it doesn't go on too long. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a series, um, but you know I, I've done some real uh, interesting um, segments then to get this far, which I think is worthy of uh, showing you guys so far. So um, 
if you've liked this uh, video please subscribe and uh, press like and the little red box down there as always uh, you press on that that will take you to my YouTube channel oh and incidentally uh, all the music uh, in my videos uh, a lot of you are asking where I get the music from it's uh, provided by Google I am contracted to Google uh, to provide these films um, so uh, ask Google and they will tell you um, so until next time it's bye for now